next display manager which is LXDM so this has got a couple of dependencies LX session needs libunique and we can download this and a patch so we go back to sources VLFS um, I think I cleared up the light DM yes I did so let's extract unique and we just need to copy and paste what's here no need to make any changes and now make install and that's chapter 9 live unique Okay, so I'll tidy that up. Just do an F. Yep. So I'll close that down, and we've now got LX session. So source forge download. Okay, so this looks like, okay, that's a bit confusing. It says that enable GTK is a requirement for libunique anyway, but they haven't put it in the um, config command, which is a bit strange. So we'll, we'll use GTK3, you can see it's been enabled there. So let's now make Oh, we could actually add in the dis uh, take off the disabled man because we have got the dependencies that are there. So we can build the man pages. Just know so that was there and it wasn't building them. So let's rerun the configure. Yep, that's good. Now let's run make. Oh dear, there's some errors there. Maybe this, why the, this is why they don't advise GTK3. Okay, I'll start this again, I think. Rerun the configure, take off this, enable GTK3, and try again. Okay, that's a bit strange why that's been worded like that. Maybe it did build at one, one time. Make install. Uh, 
And that's chapter 37 LXD desktop. So again, we're already building part of this because this window manager, a uh, desktop manager is part of that uh, package. So this is LX session. Shut that down. And now we need pull kit gnome. So we've got all the dependencies for this. Download it and the patch. So first of all, we've got the patch. And then the configure command, there's no information here. So we'll just configure and build it. And lastly, make install. For authentication framework to work, authentication agent needs to be started over make install did not install a startup file for pocket gnome so you have to create it by yourself okay so we need to copy this in sudo su paste that in and looks like The password and refuse and make the oh uh, sudo su let's try it again that's better so type that up and close that down oh, that's chapter four security so once again we're back right that chapter we've installed at least I'd say 75% if not 80% of the packages in that which is um, what I suggested would happen as we went through so pocket gnome is done we can now build LXDM okay source forge of course And first we've got some fixes to put in. And there's no extra options other than what's already there, so I'll just copy and paste this. And run make install. Uh, as the root user. Okay, and then we've got boot scripts, so this will make LXDM the default desktop manager when we run this. Make install LXDM. Configuration LX Demon LXDM Demon to configure. You can set the default session by commenting line session equals user bin start LXD and replacing start LXD with your session of choice. So as I say we've only got TWM at the moment. Um there's another way of setting this, the default session there. You can replace the default dummy face in the greeting screen by another image. It tells you how to do that. 
and then again it tells us how to switch to run level 5 and to modify the init tab which again we've already done one important script executed of login is etc xdm x session which we have fixed to fit for BLFS specifications okay so let's test that now we're going to tidy up uh, LXDM. Um, I'll quit this, quit this as well. So I'll do sudo init5 to switch back to the graphical environment, and there's the um, LXDM desktop manager. Um, once again, we need to select the desktop, so I'm not sure what would happen if we've got use default because there isn't a default. Um, unless it tries to use the last one so if I log on yeah that's yeah oh yeah it has run TWM TWM hasn't even bothered setting the background um, at all so you can see it's still picking up that I imagine this would have failed as well if it didn't have the TWM but we can explicitly set TWM and I presume default has just gone and found anything it could um, because it probably didn't have a default set uh, language okay yeah we can set that that's done yeah there's definitely something wrong with this character set I've got set for ENGB I oh, know it hasn't changed back has it um, let me try and log in again see if it resets that Yeah, it's come up all right. Let's try another language. Let's try the US. Oh no, it has changed now. it went funny as soon as I listed maybe it was these other characters here that's caused it let me put it back to ENGB log in again log out oh it is ok ok so it must be those other languages are strange characters which are causing that um, it could be that I haven't got enough character sets loaded to prevent those from appearing but yeah, anyway, you can see that's working. I'm not quite sure. Quit. All right, reboot was shut down. So I don't want to do that. Um, but what I shall do again is I'll do Control or F1 uh, and set the init level back to three. So that will stop that login manager on F7. And I can just run StarTex and carry on in my own environment. Um, that I'm using. Um, now, did I? Oh, I'm not sure if I marked off all the packages that we're doing there. Pocket Gnome. Oh, yes, I did do that. That was in chapter four, wasn't it? Chapter four, Pocket Gnome. Yes, that's right. Okay, so it's just the um, desktop manager LXDM that I've got to cross off. So in the next video what I'll do is um, I'll carry on going through the book and I'll be doing the window manager starting with Fluxbox